nigga, I'm gone. Turned up in the zone, VIP with a bitch all alone. My nigga, I'm gone. Yo, it's another episode of Drinks with Jinx, the podcast where we chill, conversate, and drink. Today, we got the internet slash YouTube's most hated, <laughs> the internet YouTube sensation, Milk74. What's up with you, pimp? What's the deal, bro? Man, bro. Like a movie. That's right. <laughs> That's right. How you been, big dog? What's up with you, homie? bro. You know, I'm just... uh. Stand above the um, float. That's right. Surviving. That's right. That part. Man, it's been two years I've been trying to get you on my platform, bro. And I know there was little, you know what I'm saying, obstacles and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you here now, though. Yeah. You know what I'm um, saying? Uh, OG told me, it's, you know, it's better later than never. That part. That part right there. I agree to that. That's what's up. So what's up, man? Um, th- th- We going to dive right in, bro. Dive right into it. Where was you originally born and raised at? I mean, I know you was raised here in LA, but where, where where was you actually born at? Um, the same place where they did that seventy show. Okay. No, I'm just fucking. Oh up. shit! <laughs> no, I'm from Los Angeles, California. That's, That's right. Where I was born at. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Okay. As far as I know. Right. That part. Yeah. So so um, what age was you adopted at? I know you was seven raised- days old. Seven days old. Yeah, like like freshly out the womb and in the hospital. I was took from the lady. Oh wow! By the, I guess the hospital. The, Do you know why? Yeah. I, well, I can come to find out later on in my life once I got old enough to realize what was going on. Right. She was a heroin addict. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. But she had kids before me though. But they took oh. Me, okay. Now, are you in? Um, do you have any um, communication with her at this time, or with your other siblings, or, or anything like that, or? Um. Well, like the siblings from the, the birth people? Exactly. Uh, yeah, I talk to them. I, I got okay. sisters. Okay. Um, two sisters. Like biological sisters? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. They older, probably like six years or something. Okay. I had an older brother than them, but he got killed. Oh. Um, he had just did juvenile life. So that's like 10 years or something, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I guess when he got out, he got killed or something. Oh, wow. Hood. Oh, wow. What happened, I don't know. He was right. a Mexican hood. Oh, okay. In Gardena. Okay. All all your um uh siblings, are they are they all Caucasian as well or are they mixed? I mean did, did, <laughs> no, seriously, did your mom like I mean did she nah, are you guys nah. by the same dad or did nah, you guys No, nah, all, okay. all the first her well, first three kids was mixed with black. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know shit. what happened with me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pattern uh, that they said once you go black, nigga, you don't go black. You know what I'm saying? Some pattern well, change. I'm yeah. Damn. Yeah, no, the first three, the the my oldest brother. Yeah. He was black, but he was from a Mexican hood. Okay. Because I think my my the the surrogate mother was uh in Gardena. Okay. I think that's where her. I, from what I heard, maybe her people had a house out there or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he was oh. from Gardena, uh, from oh. a Mexican hood. Though. Okay. Okay. Um, no, they showed me the pictures later once I met them, but. Uh, and my other two sisters, yeah, they uh mixed with black too. Okay, that's yeah. what's up. That's what's up, bro. Well, it's good you got a relationship with your sisters, man. That's good. Bro. I met them later, like later, like later on. Right, right. Okay. So let's see. So how was it being brought up in a in a black household, bro? How was that? Did you feel any different, or did or or did you feel like right at home? Like, make, like, were you comfortable? I mean, yeah, I was comfortable. Because, I mean, that was all I knew. Right. I wasn't seven years old when I got adopted. Right. I got took from whoever and then put there. Right. I went there when I was a baby. Okay. And I didn't go to foster care. Like, I got adopted, so I had a lady last name and all that. Oh shit. Me. Okay. Uh, How was it? Um. It was cool. It was normal. Like it was regular. I mean, in the beginning of my life, I know, like, we had lived on the east side. Okay. May it was like eighty fifth and central or something. Mm. Mama was renting the house over there. Okay. Not the lady who birthed me, but the one who The foster mom. Right. Me. Oh, she wasn't a foster. I, I mean, was never in foster care. Oh, you didn't take it like that. Adopted mom? Or, yeah. Right. Okay. I don't take it nowhere. I'm just saying I wasn't in foster care. Right, right. I got adopted. Right. She was, um, she was doing foster care before me, but it was me and another boy. She I guess she was just tired of doing the foster care. Oh. And adopted us and just stopped doing it. But uh Yeah, but, what I remember, we lived on the east side when I was young, real young. And um, then it went from there to a house on like Olympia Drive. Okay. That's that's like off Crenshaw and I want to say 
that stalker of Vernon. It's like I, I don't know if it's still a Washington Mutual right there, but it was like a Washington Mutual. It's kind of like in the probably a Chase area. now. If it was Washington Mutual, Maybe. It's probably a Chase because most uh, Wamu's turned into Chase, so probably. Maybe yeah. It was like you know, like, low key, like by View Park, like the Black Beverly uh, Hills. Right, right. So it was a big house. Um, Damn. But all my pe- people lived there, like my mom and my sisters. And when they had kids, they all lived there. Okay. And we moved to um, View Park, mm. which was maybe like a few miles away. Yeah, it's not far. Right um, there. And we lived there for like another three years. Okay. And then one day she told us like, you know, like either we going to have to move and y'all can still get stuff for Christmas, all mm. that PlayStations and shit y'all want, or we going to have to um, move. Damn. What happened? Go find some- I said, we got to move because we Damn. still want our shit. <laughs> Damn. I don't care about because I wanted to leave anyway because all my sisters still lived with us. Oh, okay. They was grown. Damn. Man, they ain't like Were you the youngest one? I was like the like the baby I, I in the, the house. Lad. I was the middle because uh, she adopted another boy. Okay. And, and we was raised together. So okay. You still in contact with him? Yeah. Okay. Still to this day, no problem. Everything yeah, good. Man. That's right. Do y'all y'all still link up for like any holidays, Christmas, Thanksgivings, or anything like that? Fourth yeah. of July, yeah, Labor when Day. We get a chance and shit. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's but what's when you up. become grown, it would be a little different. I don't be like how it be when I was young. Yeah. I yeah. All of them was meeting up every day, and it just it don't be like that. No more. I feel you. Talking about um. PlayStation, because I heard you bring that up right now. Um, you're a gamer coming up? Not really. Nah? No. How about now? No. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I had when I, I don't remember what PlayStation 3 that was or one of those, but I had PlayStation 2s. I had a Nintendo 64. Okay. When I was younger, like, yeah, I had yeah. a Nintendo 64. I played, like, Donkey Kong. Oh, yeah. Super Mario. All that. James Bond, 007. Oh, Golden Eye and all yeah. that. Yeah, that part. I played that. But yeah. once I got older, nah, I didn't. I just didn't gravitate towards it. Okay. But who, who didn't play San Andreas? I mean, oh, yeah. Go in the house and play that On shit. PS2? Hell, My yeah. My brother used to, like, wrestling and shit, so sometimes I WWF that. and shit? Yeah. Who, who, did you watch wrestling a lot? When I was younger, who was like your I, wrestler? Uh, the Rock. Okay. I when I was in elementary, I had one of them backpacks. You know, this face. On yeah, the back. yeah. Doing the people's eyebrow and yeah. shit. That's what's up, dog. So Milk's uh, fucked with the Rock. That's what's up. Yeah, I used to watch wrestling. That's it was right. WWF before right. It was WWE. And all right, that right. Yeah. Okay. Did you watch WCW also? I think that's still. I think that's a little bit out of my um. Out of my range. Okay. Yeah, I think I was WWF. Okay. And then they switched it to WWE when that yeah. boy. Uh, did the move on his sister, I think, in the stairway. Oh, uh, on the stairs. I, I think that was the reason. You talk about uh, uh, I remember that shit. He did the move. Shane I, McMahon and Stephanie McMahon. Nah, this was like a real situation that happened. It was like oh. this boy. He did one of the little wrestling moves on his sister. Oh, the black, the younger yeah. chubby black kid. I killed his. Uh, oh yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, yeah. He was. I think he was like. 13, 14, and she was, what, like three years old at the time? That was back in the day, bro. Um, that was Actually, there was two reasons why they changed it from WWF to WWE. It was one, because of that, and second, there was some uh, animal thing called, like, World Wild something. Separation. Something with, with, like, a panda undercover and shit, so... Yeah, it was just a bunch of bullshit. Well, I, Why did you know, I used to watch it? that shit like Rakishi, Ray Mysterio, Booker yeah, T, all yeah, that shit. hell yeah, uh, Eddie and Guerrero. I used to watch, well, I used to watch uh, uh, like Dragon Ball Z. Oh shit! I mean, not Dragon Ball Z. I'm, I'm tweaking. I, <laughs> uh, what was that shit like? Uh, 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 the Jackie Chan look? Uh, uh, cartoon? Oh, I remember that on Channel the, Five. He had to go find a little, uh, a little gemstone glowing. Yeah, that shit. yeah. damn, that's like fucking. That. Oh, I, I, I totally forgot about the Jackie but Chan. But I, but I was more like on Martin, and and I was on TV shows like that already. Oh like yeah, that. oh yeah. Okay, question: The Martin Show or Fresh Prince? If you had to pick one, I would probably rather watch the. Uh, what? Uh, Damn. Yeah. Damn. I, I gotta pick the Martin show. Bruh. I feel probably now, but I, I don't know. I, at the at the time when I'm watching this shit, yeah. it'll probably be the the uh Fresh Prince. Okay. Yeah, Will Smith, that shit was cool. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Talking about Will Smith, um, you see this interview that came out the other day? I guess this dude was like his homeboy for like over 20 years, and but he was also like his assistant. And I guess um Will was getting ready to to film like some type of scene or something. So, you know, you had like the production company hitting up his homeboy, like, yo, where was Will at? You know what I'm saying? We can't get in contact with him. Well, hold up, bro. I'm I'm, I'm looking for him. I guess he walked in and found a dude pounding Will from the backside and giving it to him, like raw dog style. 
You heard about that? I didn't hear about it. Like, yeah, that, 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 that's like a hot topic like that. that's for like the oh, early. Yeah, no, that's what he oh. said. No, the dude that walked in said that's how the dude was giving it the will. Yeah, he said the dude that used to have a TV show. I forgot his name. It, it's Gina's uh, husband. Yeah, but I forgot he used to have Dwayne a Dwayne or Dwayne. Yeah, he did that. He used to have a I show. I that show. Yeah, I, I don't remember that he show like either. The, he was one of the lead people. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But I know dude was 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 jealous of Martin and Gina. true? Broken Barrel Whiskey. Make sure you follow them on uh, Instagram. Uh, Broken Barrel Whiskey is located here in L.A., actually, man. Um, but they get their whiskey made in Kentucky. Um, best whiskey I've ever had, actually. Uh, I love uh, this shit, man, over ice, uh, or, you know, on the rocks, or make my old-fashioned with it. So, again, make sure you follow Broken Barrel whiskey. They have a lot of different ones they make also. This is just one of them. This is the uh, Americana 100. Which one is that one? Milk right there. Uh, Hershey? Her Her Hershey. Hershey? Yeah. Hershey. This is the small batch 95. And we also have the California Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey right there. So, again, make sure... You guys follow Broken Barrel Whiskey. No, I'm asking you if it's... It, no, what I'm asking is, if it is true, what you think about that shit, about Will? That shit wild, but That's I believe it. it. Low key. Yeah, I mean, because they already... People already been saying they swingers. That part. So if he's swinging, you feel me? He's doing all type of other stuff. Yeah. In my eyes. Right, right. That uh, part. And then he got money, and he... And, and, <laughs> you know, a lot of them people was around Epstein and... Oh yeah. Type of shit. oh yeah. Oh yeah. I wouldn't. I, I don't know, but I wouldn't put it past him. Right. But you know, it hurt because I heard that him and the girl trying to like sue the per person. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It hit a nerve. Right. It, oh yeah. It struck enough for sure. Yeah. All right. Now back to you, then, big dog. Um. Okay. So you you ended up moving and everything. Um. What age do you jump off the porch at? Twelve. At twelve years old. Yeah. Let me ask you this: What intrigued you? Or motivated you to want to jump off the porch at twelve years old? Because twelve years old, you're a sixth grader at that time. Yeah, I had just um, I had just finished um, um, uh, elementary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. This was right when I was going. Right when I started uh, about to start middle school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's about twelve, eleven and a half, twelve years old. Right man. around that area. I mean, yeah. that time. But <laughs> we had moved on. Um, we had moved from these. But we had lived in okay areas. Mm -hmm. but we was still going to my grandmother's house on. 79th and Fig, or my auntie and them houses on 42nd and Hoover. Or, okay. So we was always in the trenches, but we still, the areas we still lived in, you still go one block and you back in the the trenches. But right, right. we moved to 53rd and Dinker. Oh, when shit. When I was about 11, I had just left uh, elementary. I remember mm -hmm. we moved over there. That was a horrible area. And Not I don't that. think parents knew what they the, about all the shit that was going on, but Damn. that was a horrible area. Damn. Let me ask you this. Um, the older siblings you had, were they banging at the time? And is that what intrigued you? Or was it friends that was doing it? Like, I mean, what made you say, you know what, fuck it. I'm finna jump off the porch at 12 years old. I really believe, I, I, I don't know. I brought, like, in my house, it was nothing but females. Okay. My mama, my, my sister. I had three sisters. They kids, which is girls. Like, I mean, you know, so I never wanted to be in the house with them all the time. Right. And why I got intrigued to the streets, I don't know, bro. At like 11, 10 and 11, I was, I was, um, me, me and the dude that I met across the street from me, we was already learning how to jump fences, run along the walls, right. climb on roofs, uh, bust windows with spark plugs, strip bikes, take the tires off. So we was doing that early. So Damn. I don't know, it could have been maybe because I was a hair run baby. I have no idea. Like, no, I don't have no. No, I don't think that's it. Or, no. or, but it could be because the brother, my biological brother, was game banging. Okay. I don't know. Damn. I don't have no immediate. It wasn't like no immediate people in my household that was right. somewhere. Right. I got cousins and my sisters and them baby daddies. They Damn. from somewhere, but it wasn't never like nah. I got just my immediate big brothers in their game. Bag. Right. I feel. Nah, that. but I mean, I was always around and shit. My grandmother lived on 79th and Figueroa. Let, let, let me ask you. So. Cause and, and this is something that I ask because some people that used to gang bang, right, or currently still gang bang, some people get put on. Some people don't have to get put on because I guess so much work they don't already put in, they don't have to get put on, right? And it's uh, like that for some. Like that. I know, I know, but there's people like that it though. Ain't people like that. Oh no, there I've met people that that's never been put on, 
But that's and, still not. That but that's shit, not really getting. That shit ain't. It's not legit. Down the yeah, place. yeah, exactly. It's not. Did you have to get of put course. on? Of course. How many niggas put you on? It was two. It wasn't that bad. They were like bigger dudes and shit. Yeah, I mean, it was like one. Yeah, but it was like I, I, like you saying, kind of like I come from over there already. Like not so much I come from over there, but my grandmother had a house over there. Like they came up with the first generation. Right. Of the game bangers that's over there. Okay. So we used to be at the laundry mat with them when I was young. Like, Damn. I was the only white kid on 79th and Fig. A J and E liquor. Like, it used to be back that back then. That's when people was really hanging out. Right. It used to be 100, 200 people in that laundry mat <laughs> on any given like day. Like that. And then my grandmother's house was kind of became okay, not like a spot, but like just like a maybe like a headquarters for us. Okay. And it was okay. before me, because my uncle's name was hanging with Right. Me. Before you came along and shit. Yeah. Damn. Okay. They bought that property in 69. They can't... The lady who adopted me, her parents came from Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh, shit. Like in the 60s. Oh, wow, man. They bought property over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's what's up. So, <clears throat> so you get you jump off the porch at 12. Mm-hmm. You get your put on. Was you 12 when you got the put on? Nah, hell no. Oh, this was later on. Yeah. Some years later. Oh. Like, this was like two or three years later. Okay, yeah. so you still a baby though. 14 is still yeah, young. Yeah, nah, but when I was, yeah, but when I was 12, when I jumped off the porch, I was claiming 7 4. Okay. But I wasn't from 7 4. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't have nothing to do with 7 4. Right. I was, still a, I was low ball, still like a kid. Right. But I right. knew these people, like the, the all the older ones and all that. That's how I started claiming the shit. So oh, shit. I'm striking up seven four A C G, not whacking out the C or the G. Right. I was a kid. And, um, Damn. You know, I just started like I was claiming that shit. So it's basically like I'm banging it. Now I'm did but I this I jumped off the porch on fifty third. So okay. that's where I did everything got the right. first robberies, the first Damn. Uh, burglary. Damn. Um, we used to get quarter pounds of stress, smoke them or break them down, start selling that shit. Um Damn, milk. Everything, bro. Damn. Yeah, we was doing a lot of shit. Right. You know, that's down the street from the old boyhood. Yeah, yeah. You know, Crimac. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. Right. Like right down, like one street separated. Yeah, separates both hood. And right. It's another hood. You know, it's like three hoods over there that yeah. don't really get along. That part right there. It was bad. At that time, when you was <clears throat> 14, when you got to put on, did you have any um crazy, let's say, rumbles, riots, fights? Um situations with the other hoods nearby or was this later down the road like when you you know was going to jail prison and all that shit yeah on the streets it really ain't you nobody this <laughs> it wasn't really ain't no fighting right it's, it's more other it's that part you ain't gotta talk i know what you mean that yeah, part but i mean yeah. of course it was like i was i was bro i was outside so long like Damn. front lining like we front line ward and all that like we on the curb all day but but even before that on 53rd bro i was outside like could have been died over there. Right. Those people that died, I was seeing death early. What was the story? You you explained the story one time where you said you was outside a liquor store yeah, or something. Was later with you. On, like, yeah, so explain that story. What, what? Well, well, not, but before that, when I was on right. 53rd, uh -huh. the dude, like, we like 11 and a half. I knew this boy named Curtis. Right. So we all was claiming some other, some shit that we wasn't from yet. But we all was, it wasn't just like we was claiming it. We knew people over there. We was really from over there. Right, so. right. Just never got put on or something, but and uh, I remember he went and got put on before me, like he went and got put on uh, his hood, VNG. A few months later, he got killed, he got shot. We he was like 12 at the time, damn, he got shot like nine times. Wow. But it was a lot of deaths in it early on, like, yeah, damn. but that shit outside the liquor store that was later on, bro. right? That was one of my homies, um, Tank, okay, and um. Yeah, it was just like a, a a regular day. It was the day after his birthday. Okay. His birthday was the the you know the the previous day, and um everything was cool. We was out on fig the whole night. Just chilling. Yeah, just all up and down walking and shit, just chilling basically. Uh, he was into that pimping shit. Oh. Um, so he on he skateboarding down the street, yelling at cars and all that type of <laughs> shit. But that's just what he did. But right. The next day, me and my homeboy. Was right there. We was doing the same shit we do every day. Right. Just post up, smoke, chill. Um, same shit. And uh Tank came and he came and um we went inside the laundry mat. It cause right next adjacent to this liquor store is a laundry mat. Okay. But it's you gotta walk inside the parking lot a little distance to get to the laundry to mat. The laundry mat. Okay. So it's either sometimes secure, because it's kinda hard for you to get it. Shot at, but then it's a death trap at the same time. There's mm. nowhere to really go if they no. got the balls to really 
walk up all the way and do it. Right. Um, yeah, we Damn. were standing right there one day and uh we we was in the laundry mat, but the dude who worked there in the morning, they got two shifts at this liquor store. So the dude in the morning, um, he used to be an asshole, just don't want nobody up there. <laughs> like I'll call the police, y'all. Like, yeah. Um Damn. trip. I know his, his name was Roberto, but he was cool, but he just used to really be on his job. Mm -hmm. So I can't be mad now, but back then I used to hate him. Right. Hey, this shit good than the motherfucker. Yeah, hell it, yeah. It, it's hitting, right? But hell yeah. If you ever need a boost of energy and you want something that's not gonna give you the jitters, something that's not gonna make your heart pound and give you uh a headache and a crash and burn, I think y'all should go to Vita Mule. This is a awesome carbonated uh, beverage, man. It has natural uh, energy from a coffee source, carbonated water, and just a splash of flavor. They have their orange, orange flavor right here. They got the grape raisin right here. Trust me when I say you've never filled a burst of energy until you have a can of Vita Meal. Make sure you follow them on Instagram. Cheers. Um, he tripped, so we left the laundromat because we was, you know, we had stuff on us. So they convinced me we pissed some shit up. Um, we went in back in front of the liquor store. Tank said, I'm about to go get some uh tree from around the corner. Okay. So he walked and went and got that. Me and my other homeboy still in front of the store. When he come back, shit get freaky. Cause my homie that I'm with, he like, hey bro, that look like Hartman. Hartman is a is a he a homicide detective now, but he used to be a regular police, but he moved up the ranks pretty fast. Right. But taking everybody down. Damn. Uh, he fan, I think Draco mentioned him. I think he was trying to do something with Draco when he was in jail. Oh shit. Hartman, that's his name. Damn. But he was like, that looked like Hartman in that Buick. Because he used to be in this gold Buick, like a Buick Century. Yeah. It was like a 2001. I don't think it's a Regal. I think that's a Century. Like a Crown Victoria janky. or some no, shit no, like that. A century. Oh, okay. A Buick Century. It looked janky. Like it Damn. looked like. But he was like, that looked like Hartman. And I'm like, okay, fuck it. Um, whatever. But when as he's saying that, the car gets to the next light. Now, if we standing on the curb, we could kind of look. We can see. Right. Car coming back. Now, the first instinct is like, okay, just go over there real quick and retrieve what we got to get. Right. But at the same time, we're like, okay, this is a homicide detective coming. Oh, shit. We don't think, we are thinking, and bro, the car came back. And when it came back, we look, we right here. And then they say, I know the same homie that seen it. He like, that ain't Hartman. It's like, I think I just seen somebody get out the car. And I'm like, what? Oh, shit. And uh, shit, by the time we look back, it was two people walking up. I don't know what they look like. I don't really know none of that. Right. It was two individuals. That and, part. Um, <laughs> It don't look like it was their first little rodeo. Right. Because they walked up and- um, Ready for action. Yeah, by the time I look back, it was me and Tank. The other two dudes, well, I was one dude, another dude had came. And, and they um, gone. Yeah, but it was crazy because before this shit happened, it was like police came back to back. Oh, shit. Like back to back. Like lift your shirt up, turn around, lift the shirt up. Like they came. So they must have been looking for them then. No, that's like they they set us up. Oh, shit. Yeah. Because oh, it's like wow. the, bro, they, the police doubled back, back, back to just make sure that we right there. Yeah. We ain't got nothing on it. Basically, like we, we got nothing on us because we'd be in jail because they would have took us in. Oh, yeah. But- Bro, they walked up, and when I looked back, Tank was like kind of to my right. And the other dude, and I guess he in a store or something. I'm like, I ain't going to no store, G. You was um, feeling it? Hell no. Nah. Something you just, you. I mean, that was not my first thought. Right. Yeah, hell, fuck that. Because people are walking in that store. And, right. I don't, know if them camera, I don't care about the cameras, but I'm just saying, like, people were probably thinking that, like, man, them cameras probably don't even work. That part. Go in there and melt your ass in the store. Right. But. It was real because now when people be like, yeah, people got caught slipping. Sometimes that shit just happened. There's nothing you can do. It's like you get set up or it's God for some reason. Because uh, like from the corner, like the parking lot is like where you turn in your car. Uh -huh. And then you got to like walk past that. And then you get to the where the liquor store entrance at. We like oh. right there kind of. So when I look back, I'm like, hey, bro, when they get to, to that driveway, I'm out of here. We can't do nothing. What what we gonna do? Damn. They bulletproof. Like, right. We can't. Right. Uh so shit, bro. When they got right there, I think it was it was like God, because I was just able to like <laughs> like break across um fig. And get on. No cars. It's usually traffic. Like this is a busy intersection. Fig is Damn. like a lot of cars. Yeah, right. Like, I was able to just break. 
And as I broke, I kind of like broke, and I'm in the middle of the street. I look back. He didn't even run yet. It's like he was still standing there. Oh, what the fuck happened? Man. But then it's like he he started running. But when he started running, they opened fire on both of us. But as I'm looking back, it's crazy because I jumped. Before I jumped the gate, I kind of looked back. And it's like they both in the squares. They never moved. Like, you know, the squares. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. They never moved. One was in one square. One was in the other square. Oh, and shit. They got the unload, bro. Do, do, do. Damn. And I, you know how when you run and you jump a gate, like when you jump it, you damn near at the top of the gate. Yeah. Or at the middle. Right. So the next thing, you just kind of flipping over that motherfucker. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. And it was boom, 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 boom. And I had said how many times they shot at us in a Say Cheese TV interview. And people were like, you lying. I'm like, bro, they shot at us about 73 times. Are you serious? No, I'm not lying. I swear to God. I don't know if it was switches. Back then, people could have switches. Or banana clip, know. something. Yeah. Or extended. like You're right, times. right, right. Some shit. It, it could have been around 60, 70 some shots. I am not lying. No, and it was big because it was a truck. Okay, so when I jumped the gate, it was still rapid fire. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm kind of like duck and I'm trying right. to get to where the shit at. When I get the shit, I can't jump back over the gate and they still opening fire. So I got to yeah. come around. And before I come around, they, they still shooting, but they, they kind of backing up. Back to mm. go back to the hoop. Right. The vehicle. Now, as they doing that, a car turned the corner on 79th, and it was a Jeep, and the Jeep crashed, almost hit one of them. Damn. Yeah, I could see it. He fumbled and all that, like on his Shh. foot and all that. She almost hit him, and she had kids in the car, like five or six kids. Oh, shit. Lady. And um, yeah, by the time we got to the front, they was gone. So now the people that was with us at first that, I guess, ran in the stove, they back outside. Y'all good? Tank, where Tank at? And I'm like, I don't know, shit, where he at? And uh, he was standing, like, kind of across the street where we was at, yeah. but on the other side. But he was linked Damn. up against the wall. Didn't look like nothing. He had a white T-shirt. And uh, like, Tank, come here. We like, you good? And he like, I'm good, but he ain't getting up. He not like, it's like he just sitting there. Right. like, get up. So he get up, and he start walking. And when he walked, he kind of collapsed. Oh, When he shit. collapsed, you could see the whole back of the shirt is um, wet, red and wet. Damn. He got hit once. Out of all them shots? Yeah. Did he survive? No. Oh, he didn't survive. Oh, he died. Oh, man. He got hit once. Uh, Damn. And it's, I really believe because he it was because he became like an open target. Like me, I ran straight. He said I just went with I you. I ran yeah. straight, ac like straight across. I feel like he could have went. Well, so this is before he even pulled the gun. He, something just told you to get the fuck up out of there. Of course. I already told them. It wasn't right. It was like, bro, like two seconds before they put the gun. Like one second. Like we, if you see two individuals <laughs> look like they in hoodies to make themselves look bigger. Oh yeah, is, yeah. They face look all like Terry and shit. Um, <sighs> you just you could. And I'm gonna tell you something. Death. You can smell it, feel it, low key. You can Damn. feel it. Damn. Like you could feel it's just something about it. Like you are gonna get that. You gonna get that feeling like something about like to go a bad down. spirit about it yeah. or some shit like you that. You gonna be able to feel it, so like an energy or something. Yeah, you gonna be able to like, nah, something ain't right, bro. Like I can smell it. Damn, they can bro. Kill. And you was like, let me get the fuck up. You what made else the. We gonna do? You right, right. Yeah, you're not gonna fuck it, right? Who's that, do it? You think I'm gonna? <laughs> you think I'm gonna stand there and say, hey, you know, I'm right here. You're not. Hey, I'm gonna fuck you from. Nah. Boom. So were they? Were they like rival gang? I don't have uh, no clue. Don't know. Still to, don't know. Damn. Nah. But it, you know, it's been it's been like little... Um, so he got hit once, though. And it was a truck real quick. Like, it was a truck parked right there. Yeah. Like a white uh, van type of tr van truck. Like, if you know if they delivered sodas in a yeah, small yeah, white yeah, van. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was yeah. bullet holes in that shit. But the man who truck was pulled off before the police even uh, taped it off. Because he didn't want to go through that shit. Oh, shit. So he got one of the bullets out of his car. It was like that, bro. Like cop killers. Yeah, they were shooting. Oh, yeah. Oh, they weren't playing, bro. You know, were... <laughs> I think he died right there. Because mm. he was choking on his blood. At the time, I couldn't take it. I left. And 12 coming. Now we got the um the shit on us. Pipes. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, I'm You got to get on. Yeah. No point of even crying, sitting right here. And right. Doing this. He right. Dead. And I knew yeah. it because I didn't watch... You know, like I, I ain't really never seen like nobody right next to me uh, pass away and shit like, like that. that. Yeah, like that. Right. Um, Let me ask you, how was uh, how was uh, how was it experience like experiencing that shit, bro? Like it, it was, and this is like this was one of your close boys. Yeah, this was like this was like damn near I could, I could call him my cousin. I think wow, we man. Yeah. 
Damn. Because his his uncle had a had a um a baby by my sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's okay. What so yeah, you're like fam like practically. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if it wasn't, we was together every day. Right. All right. So so explain to me, um, how were you when you first went to to jail, county jail? Did you ever do like any Los Padrinos or anything yeah, camps and yeah, shit but, like that? Yeah, but never like never no extreme shit. I wasn't like the kid that that went to jail at like twelve and thirteen. Right, kept going to juvenile hall. Okay. When I was younger. I used to do a lot of shit and never got caught. Right, that and part. I never did no wild, um, just bizarre shit. Like right, the most wild shit I used to do when we was like eleven. We'd ride around with a bat and just bust people windows. Oh, weird shit. shit. Still a little cap. I, I remember when I was like, fuck, dude. I had to be about maybe thirteen. Did a GTA. I mean, I did like so. I did a lot of shit that yeah. I got caught for, right? Like um, cars, houses, a lot of shit. Yeah, of course, um, we all did. Yeah, when we were kids, but I started, younger, yeah, for but, sure. But I, the first time I like went 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 through any of that, I was probably like fourteen. Okay. Yeah. How about so county? Like, how about county jail? LA I county went to jail, Twin Towers. Yeah, but I went to camp before that. Though. Oh, you went to camp before? Yeah, I went to Page Camp Page. Okay. I think that's on Laverne. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's out there. Next yeah. To Rocky. Right. Next to Alpha Ball down the street from Rocky. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I went there for like uh, 90 days and got refiled on. Then oh, went okay. back to LP and did like another. Oh, so you know about Los Padrinos yeah, yeah. over there in Downey. Yeah. yeah. They just opened they that bitch that back up. Down. But they opened it back up just now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that bitch right back open. Yeah, I, I was in there, bro. I, I seen people break out of that shit all the I seen yeah. people get McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> um, white t-shirts yeah all types of shit but first time I at the county I was 18 okay did you have any fights county jail fights yeah, or anything yeah. like that the yeah. first time I went like like the first time I didn't have no phase okay because there wasn't nobody in there and I wasn't even in there long enough right I had was probably in there two weeks and hit one cell block and it was just like a Pueblo uh, uh, a pimp from Compton I forgot what crib he was from but yeah I think Palmer Block okay be honest Okay. Um, wasn't really nobody in there, but the second time, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, Damn. Got down with the original baby C Mac. Oh shit. Yeah. You know, How C -Mac was that? wasn't C Mac at first. Right. I didn't even bring him up like that, but yeah, I fought a, 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 some dude that was baby C Mac. Oh shit. Yeah. Same yeah. MO as him. A lot of tattoos. A lot of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, like, yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah, com yeah. like comical. And How did that go? Was it even? Did he get the better of you? Did you get the better of him? I ain't even or? gonna lie. I'm gonna be real. It was low key like an even because cause we would not like give up. And stop. Okay. And he had like low key like a messed up arm. Yeah. He had got shot up or something. Oh, but shit. But he, he the one kept insisting to fight. Um, Yeah, but that little arm moved though. Uh, I'm a <laughs> <laughs> now, they used to call him Chicken Wing. Oh shit! Yeah. Hey, to put me on game because you know I'm drinks with jeans, right? Yeah. Put me on game uh, about the drink you had texted me about earlier again. Because some people, satin. no, I know about that, but to mix it with what again? Orange Kool Aid. Okay, so what? What? What is the, the name of it though? What's the name of it? I call it the Bebe. That's what we call it, Bebe. Okay, so why though? Like, I mean, silver because silver, silver satin's fucking strong, bro. Yeah, it ain't as strong as it's it was, like that like night train shit. It it ain't, ain't, yeah. yeah, none of that shit strong as was like when my OGs and them, them old dudes and our old heads were drinking that shit. You you ever had uh, what's the other one called? Um, but that was, but bro, that shit was when I was drinking it. The small bottle was like two dollars and a quarter. Yeah, the big one wasn't even five. Damn. So it was like you could get a big, you could get like a four dollar base back when cigarettes was five dollars a, oh, yeah, a, a box. That. Yeah. So twenty dollars, yeah. you could get a box of cigarettes. You got the party weed, right there. Lunch. Yeah. And silver satin. Remember back in the day, the AZ stress. Yeah. You could get all that, all or, that or the turkey. endo. Yeah, all that. Hell yeah. yeah. What man? I remember you, you. You used to be able to get like three Swishers for a fucking dollar and but shit. Everybody in LA drink that silver satin shit. They just mix the Kool Aid, whatever color they. They what they prefer, yeah. You get red. You could put purple for the people in white. So right. Everything. That's that right. shit cool though. It's like it's, it's, it's that shit it's hit like, though. Yeah, it's like it's like drinking Andre or something. I mean, oh okay, or okay. You know, but, That's... but it creep up on you though. Like it ain't nothing to play with. Oh shit! Damn. So sudden. You don't drink once like that though, huh? You more, I know you. I know you smoke more than you drink. Yeah, though. I don't really drink. But I know I've seen you like. I, I know you like wine. If I go somewhere, like if I go like to a <laughs> restaurant or I'm at an outing or something like that, I have. A, a, a drink. I prefer oh. like champagne or something like oh, that. Oh, I think yeah. I'm a player now. That part, yeah, there you go. <laughs> like or yeah. Something like that or some wine. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell liquor, yeah. bro, like like that shit, like low key, like boy, listen, like I, I, I could have, it's been like a lot of shit that I did off liquor. For real? Just put myself in fucked up positions and situations. Damn. Yeah. I don't think I ever 
done anything. Boy, like, listen, like I didn't, up. I didn't been drunk. I didn't remember one time I was drunk, and I and 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 I was real drunk, and I went to sleep in my sister's house. But before I went to sleep, bro, I think I threw up, and I think I fell right in the. In throw the, up and went to sleep. Oh and shit! This was mixing. This was Hennessy, and then one of them Hennessy. So we start drinking. Um, I think they had a bottle like this big ass gallon that they got from Super Buy. I don't even think they got Super Buy no more. Oh like shit! Store, yeah, and they got a big ass bottle of Palma Sun, but and that shit fucked you up. Yeah, liquor, but that's when a lot of people didn't got a lot of people get killed off liquor. Yeah, yeah. They call slipping. Yeah, blacked out. Right. Drunk. Yeah. I don't know what they doing. Right. That and then part. I be doing YouTube. It's hard for me to kind of do videos. Drinking. Like if you drinking shit. Like if I'm just sitting there drinking, I just feel like. It's hard. I feel you. Yeah. I, Do you think you'll be sloppy if you did it like yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. I just don't. It's not even a sloppy. It's just once I and then I don't know, bro. Like if I start drinking, I don't think I'm gonna have the patience to sit there and do no YouTube. You don't think so? I want to go outside. Oh shit! I probably want to go stand on the curbs. Right. <laughs> oh no! Like. I feel you. I feel you. So so um. Let's see. So, how is it? I know. I know your uh, your girls is, is is black woman, right? Have you ever? Have you only ever been with black women, or have you had like a Mexican woman, a white woman, Asian, Middle Eastern before? Or um, I see, these say, are good questions because people don't know. You know I what I'm would, saying? I wouldn't say dated them. Right. I have. I, I never. I never really de dealt nothing. I mean, did nothing with a white girl. Okay. But I have done someone like Honduran. Okay. Latin. Like Guatemalan. Like right, Latin, right. Like Salvadorian and shit. Yeah, probably Salvadorian. Okay. Shit like that. Yeah, Super yeah, white yeah. girl. Because I wasn't around them at the time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up, man. Yeah, I wasn't around them. Damn. I really wasn't none where I was at. I feel you. I at feel all. you. I feel you. Unless they was crackheads. Right. <laughs> right. That part. Yeah. That's what's up. So let's, so, so, so let's switch the script now, man. Um. What what made you want to start a YouTube channel in the first place? Now, the way I came across you was um, I was on YouTube one day. I don't know what the fuck I was watching prior. It may have been like some music video. I don't know what the fuck it was. Maybe some podcast, something. And then you came up. I was like, who's this guy? I just clicked and I was like, wait, hold up, dog. Wait, dude from LA. Okay, got the, you know what I'm saying? Like, wait, what the fuck's up? Okay. And I just started fucking with your channel after that. I was like, yeah, I watched like two videos, bro, and, I, and then I subscribed. And I was like, okay, that's what's up. And then next thing I know, you know, you had to do the no jumper shit and all that. And then, you know, from, from those, like, what was that, like maybe two, three years ago or something like that? Dog, you, your fucking channel's popping, bro. So, again, simple question. What made you even want to start a fucking YouTube channel? Um, I was getting off of work. And um, I'll, I'll be smoking. So I was kind of tired of listening to music videos. Because, like, mm. usually I'll probably just smoke and watch all type of music videos. Yeah. Oh, no. Whatever. Just go probably watch shit I ain't seen in 10 years. Okay. But then somebody, I don't know. I just got to start getting sent links to, like, the lab videos, I think. Just okay. different YouTube videos. Because I really didn't know what YouTube was. Right. I mean, I didn't think I knew what it was, but I never was on YouTube. You thought it was more like just a music thing at first? I don't know. Yeah, I or never, I never, whatever. yeah, I never was really savvy to it. Right. I wasn't. Like when Boosie said he told his mama he outside thugging, he don't need cable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like that too. I didn't really want to. Don't get me wrong. I like watching TV. Yeah, but, for sure. I was outside, bro. So I didn't really, um, I didn't know what YouTube was, but I started getting sent these links. And then, you know, you got to make a profile to even comment. Oh, yeah. So I made a yeah. profile and um I started watching these videos, bro. I seen one Gilligan and I, I really <laughs> I really believe it's this clown uh Celery Nash, aka okay. Seti Nash. Okay. I never um, heard of him before. The the dude that claims Sacramento uh do like the YouTube uh police videos type. I have no. He been up at the most Gilligan podcast in the world before. Oh shit. I have no Oh, we getting nasty now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, I seen this dude and, and he had like a blue Sip up, nigga. <laughs> he had like a blue uh face mask or bandana on his face. Uh-huh. He was just talking about some like some LA shit. Yeah. Like, man, what is he talking about? Right. Like, right. It's crazy what he was saying. Is he from here? Nah, from LA no, County? No, no. He's from what, like the Bay or man, bro, that dude is from the Bay somewhere, but oh, Okay, like he, shout out to the Bay, by the way. Like he's from the 60s, but Oh, okay. He's a, he's that that dude. He a whole nother subject, but he came from a nice upbringing. A fucked up family a little bit, but the daddy did as much as he could 
to take the, the, the street money and put him through good schools, right? And football and keep him away from the streets, right? So, but for some reason, he want to get on YouTube and act like this. But Damn. um, I just seen him do videos, and then you know I started seeing other videos, and then uh, it was <clears> one <throat> channel that I watched. It was called Bounty Hunter D. Oh yeah, he's like do these like repossessing cars and shit. shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Reason, that's his dope. For some reason, I, I was watching that shit, and um, then I'm like, man, fuck this. I just kept thinking about the dude I seen talking about L.A. Then I started thinking, and then I started looking at YouTube. I'm like, oh, you can get paid from this shit. Yeah. Yeah, but then I was like, man, I don't really, I'm not tripping about the money yet because I was working at that time. Right, right. Full time. Like, right. What was you doing at that time? Uh, dishwashing in the beginning. Okay, at a restaurant I, and yeah, shit? Yeah, I didn't know, I didn't know you could get a job. You know what? Let me tell easy. you, let me tell you a secret. And then I couldn't get any job because of, um, at that time, you know, like, you know, like, um, probably, probably had some charges that probably, you know, like. Oh, okay. Certain jobs. Yeah, you know, yeah. Get, but, um. Yeah, the restaurants was easy. It was. Let me tell you a secret. It was loving. I used to be uh be a dishwasher also, bro, at uh, Olive Garden. Yeah, but you can't fuck with me. No, I hated it. Yeah, I, I, I fucking I, and I used to do like I, I, I was the Kobe of that shit. Oh, dude, yeah, I didn't. I was then. I was if you the if you was the Kobe of that, then I was the fucking Westbrook. Of that I was the Kobe. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I hated it, bro, especially on the weekends, cause like. That restaurant, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, is fucking ridiculous. I loved it. I hated it. I loved it. I hated it. I got milk. ADHD, I think. Man, I, I can't. I can't be no security guard just right. there all day. Like, right, right, right. I can't do that. Right. I I'd rather it. be. <laughs> How about if you was a waiter? You think if you was a waiter, could you do that? Um, no, I don't know. I thought about that, but in the be seeing the beginning, I really didn't. Did you I, get them tips and shit? Yeah, but in the beginning, I wasn't shaving my face like that. Okay. I'm high. I'm going to work high. Right. Like, <laughs> I remember one child was like, damn, are you okay? Yeah, oh, they asked you that? Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Like, right. But I used to get the job done, like, for real. Like, yeah. I, I, I bounced around a few of them. Okay. But that's because I was I was looking Indeed. Indeed.com, indeed. yeah. Com. And it yeah. was so easy to, to get a restaurant It job. is, so it I is. Will, I will find one closer, and it'll pay a little bit more money. Okay. Or this one will be way more closer and pay, like, 50 cent less. But that's I, worth it, though. And then I bounced around to, I was at Tao. I was at all these five star um, restaurants and restaurant, shit, right? All of them. Name the worst job you've ever had, Milk. Um, I want to say the worst job you've ever fucking had. Mm. I would say UPS. That was the first. That was the first real like. Because before that, I man, I did all type of shit growing yeah. up. Yeah, like, cutting trees for my uncle, moving houses, construction type shit, all that type. Nah, like when, landscaping when he, shit. Nah, he used to. Uh, manage apartments. So, like, the people used to move out of these apartments, just leave everything in there. Oh, so I used shit. to go in there, get all the shit out, and then clean it up, sanitize it, and shit, shit. like that, and then yeah. cut trees. Okay. But the worst one, I would say UPS, U UPS, because that was my first real job, and I did the driver's helper. Oh, the seasonal yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. For like the holidays and shit. Yeah, because I didn't like that shit. Boy, listen, I picked Hollywood for two reasons. <laughs> One reason was like, okay, I don't want to be like all through LA. Yeah. They put me in like on the east side and I got to go deliver packages on oh, Golden yeah. and Maine. Right. And on Manchester and San Pedro. I wouldn't Damn. try or 104th and 5th. Right. I just don't want to be in a position. Right. Exactly. But Especially was, on the job and but shit. But then I was like, Hollywood, but it was more, I'm not tripping about that. Too. Right. I was, but more of Hollywood because I'm like, they going to be getting way more packages. Right. So I'm going to get hours. I had already understood that hours mean. More money, so yeah. I was like, I need the hours. So I did Hollywood, bro. It was horrible. Damn, horrible. Damn, it broke me though. It, it showed me like it was horrible. How and many? They, how many hours was uh like the shifts? Like what? Like ten hour, twelve hour shifts and shit. Eight in the morning to like eight at uh maybe like seven at night. Eight at Damn. night. Damn. And what you would get like 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 a thirty minute or like an hour lunch or something like two thirties. Well, cool. I think well, every, right. Every driver, yeah. Every driver I had was cool. So they, they probably we, just do they take a break and then yeah. they go buy a 7 Eleven. Oh, yeah. Go all the little food out there. Yeah, all that. Hell whatever. yeah. But it was cool though. It showed me how to work. And then I, once that shit was over, I met this one dude through my friend, like a bodybuilder. Yeah. It's crazy because I think he's from Downey too. Okay. Uh, He like big. I think he's like shit? LB. He a white dude. LB. He like real. He like a real buff type dude. Yeah. One of my homies knew him and he was like, hey, you want a job? And it was at this place in Los Felix. Okay. That's like by Glendale. Yeah, yeah. And it was this place called the Morton. It was a uh, restaurant? Yeah. Okay. It was like, 
Like a steakhouse or some shit? No, 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 no. Not Morton's. It was called... Um, Morton's is that steakhouse. Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah. It was called... But I thought there was maybe another location. It was called the said. Morton's or something. That yeah. was the name of it. It's like it was Los, cool? It's on Los Felix and Glen Felix. When I was working there, it was Yelp Top 7. Restaurants restaurant and shit? Or yeah. Like a little bar type shit. Right, right. That was horrible, too. Damn. Yeah, I had a Paisa. I couldn't even speak English. That had to show me everything. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn. I learned that shit, though. That's right. You and speak be, Spanish milk or no? Hell no, nah, no. Nah. Oh, I'm yeah. Not, I'm, not, uh, I'm, not, I'm not Mexican, bro. Oh, but not shit. saying you got to be Mexican. Right, Spanish, right, right. You know, but nah, I, I mean, I know enough because I grew up with Mexican. Right, right, right. Yeah. That part. That's I know right. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, dos, tres, tres, cuatro, seis, quince. Damn, that's cool. Let me ask you. So, if you go to, could you go to a Mexican restaurant and like order a meal in full Spanish? In full Spanish? Nah, hell no. Oh, okay. (laughs) All right. That's Uh, what's up. Oh, yeah. Well, you know the cuss words, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Listo. Yeah. 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 All right, so, uh, damn, hold up. There was something I was going to fucking ask you. God damn it. Oh, man, what was the fuck? What? Damn, bro. When you first brought up the dishwasher chef at the restaurant, there was something that, that had popped up in my head. I was like, oh, I'm going to ask him that. I yeah, I excelled I, in that shit, though. Yeah, I cannot remember yeah. what the fuck I, I was going to ask I bounced you, bro. job to job, and I never got fired from one. Oh, you never got fired from never. a job? And I used to be high. You just, like, quit and... Yeah, or give them the two weeks notice. Yeah. yeah. Because it was like, say if I, like, at that time, I'm catching the bus to work. I'm on the bus and the train. Damn. Because my girl got, we got one car at the time. Yeah. Like, she got to go to work, so I'd rather her take the car. Boom, I could do this on the bus. But, so, it was like, say if I'm working at Saddle Ranch in West Hollywood. Oh, yeah. But then I find something closer, like. Ten more miles closer. I'm taking that. Right. Yeah. Oh, I remember what I was. I remember what I was going to ask you now. Who was some of your favorite artists um, that you liked listening to, bro, when you was growing up? Uh, it could be West Coast, East Coast, Flies, South, whatever. Flies. Okay. Webby, Lil Boosie, um, Lil Fat. Okay. Um, Lil Wayne. Of course, Lil Wayne. Yeah. That's my favorite rapper. Okay. Uh, I mean, all of them like Snoop Dogg. I was listening to old music, right? Park, yeah, all like old ass DPG. Club, yeah, hell yeah. Dog Pound, all that East Side shit. Hell yeah, yeah. East Siders, hell like, yeah. Um, all that shit. Then when my sisters gonna be drunk and they play the blues, right? Like you like Patter. rock? Nah, hell no. Nah. You don't like no rock and roll? I've never listened to that in my life at all. At all, I wouldn't. No like, ACDC? Hell no. Nah. Guns and Roses? Never. Nirvana? I didn't grow up riding skateboards, bro. Nah, but I mean the music is no, I'm just saying, beautiful like, I music up, though. Yeah, man. But I grew up, I didn't I didn't come up with that. We was listening to, it's just rap. Okay. Let me and ask you, let me let me let me ask you this. And so, R&B if you with your girl in the car. Oh yeah, off top. Off that. top. Off top. So let me ask you this. So let's say you stranded on the island. Oh, Ice Cube and shit. Okay. Off top. Off top. So let's say you stranded on the island, right? For the rest of your fucking life. And there's only one decade of music you can listen to for the rest of your life. While you're on this island, what decade of music you going with? I'm going to go with the 90s. Nice. Yeah. Nice fucking pick. There you go. I was hoping you would say the 90s, bro. I was like, this nigga band picked the 90s. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, they, I mean, the 90s is the best, bro. I yeah, mean, I'm because... Go with the 90s. Yeah, Early for sure. 2000s, but the 90s. Early 2000s had some shit, bro. Even the mid two thousands, but once it started getting into the late two thousands, like like past two thousand five, after like fifty cent. Man. Yeah, after that, bro, it was it was it was whack, bro. But and and it's, it's I don't just listen to none of this shit. Oh yeah, I don't. I either. listen to music. I ain't gonna lie, I listen to shit from back in the day. The old shit. Oh yeah, that that's because that's the best shit. I will listen to some blues before I listen to any of this new shit. Well, blues is dope, bro. Yeah. Shit, that's hell yeah. yeah. You know, what I grew saying? up on that shit too. That's all my mom and them and sisters and music. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Easy Hill, Johnny Taylor, Marvin C, Sap. Oh, man. Hell All yeah. Oh, that, uh, that's the shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, So, I know there's some people on the internet that you don't really get along with, I guess you can say. Um, right? I wouldn't say I don't get along with them. I just don't. 
This is on tolerate bullshit. That like, part. Okay, so let's say I don't that. think about them when I'm out smoking a big. Nah, cigar nah, not at all, not at all. That's well what. Planned. What? What's What's the issue with you and and Adam Twenty? Like what? I mean, he's a clown. But what's the meat and potatoes? Like what actually started the the? the I'm not gonna say beef because it's not beef, but let's just say uh, the, the, the misunderstanding or the tension. You know what I'm saying or whatever between y'all. C Mac. Okay. And it wasn't really C Mac. It was just at the time, like, yeah, just interview me. Oh, you whatever, we cool. Come back up here, whatever. Or he just playing his vibe. But then right after he do that, the next interview he did, like four days later, he uploaded C Mac. With, oh, okay. with all the whole tattoos and it yeah. was just weird. So that kind of started it. Okay. But I didn't really say nothing about that. Right. Yeah, but then other shit started happening. Um he kind of started stealing interviews that I was saying on live that I'm about to do. Oh, shit. Yeah, because he, he, he didn't know who no fucking um, DW Flame was or Big Sad 1900. Right. Yeah. Day after I interviewed Big Sad 1900, he DM'd him. But it was just other shit, too. And then at, at the time of this, I still wasn't sweating nothing really. Right. But then people started sending me all these DMs. Damn. Because they knew I was already like the Gilligan Slayer at that time. Right, right. I just right. didn't coin my name that, but I was already doing that. And, right, um, right. They started sending me all these tweets. That he wrote before all the shit he said was saying about the kids and the racist shit. Right, right, right. And they right, started right. sending me pictures that he had merch when he first came out here. He was selling merch with a Black Panther on it. Oh, shit. Um, Clips. They just start sending me all type of shit. So you're like, oh, yeah, I'm not. I really believe he like, if they, if the, that word culture vulture, he is that. Damn. Damn. Is there any way you guys could be cool? Would no. you ever be cool with him again? Nah. No matter. No, never. They hit me up. People hit me up close to him, trying to get people that they think cool with me and hitting me up to try to get me to go up there and appear. For what for like an interview or something? Yeah, I would never. Never again. I told them they'll have a better chance of. They will see me and uh, C Mac on a collab before they see that. Damn, like that. Yeah. If so, if Adam and No Jumper offered you twenty racks I right now, it. we'll give you twenty racks right now. Ten up front. What's your cash app? We'll send you 10 racks right now and then give you the 10 in person when you get you will not do it. That means they give me 40, they can have my ass. Then. Oh shit. Yeah. Damn. I don't want it. Damn. I don't want it, bro. Why would I want to go up here, bro? Right, I feel you. I didn't said all this shit. Right. I didn't put press so much pressure on him. I didn't cause him a lot of ruckus. Right. Over these last years, bro. The fuck is we gonna talk about? Yeah, I feel And then you, you want me to I go on your channel. Damn. Come on my channel. But then I don't even want to do that, bro. I, it's, it's so he couldn't even come on your platform? Nah. That's Damn. Not a lot, really. Damn. There's no beef. Like, I'm not sending people to go. Right, nah. Hell nah. To go shoot at right, 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 right. He be playing like he tough, but not tough. Would you do a celebrity boxing I match? I went up there. He didn't come out. I remember that video. Yeah, and that was what? real. I know. That wasn't no. They do a lot of fake shit up there, I think. But that wasn't no. Nah, that was real. No. Um, like, you didn't plan that or nothing. Nah, he went on Bootleg Kev. A podcast and he said, "Oh yeah, a homeless bitch and he's not really from L.A. or some shit." And I don't know. I just was like, "Man, fuck this." He talking too much. Oh shit! And I was like, "Bro, I don't know." I just snapped it. Maybe I didn't have no weed that day. But <laughs> I don't know. But I just, Are you one of those people? Like, if you don't got your weed, then you you like you kind of like snappy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. God, I know some people like that, bro. It's like they like, like they like they need their like they have to have their weed, well, bro. Yeah, I think, yeah, low key. But but see, I keep weed, but I think it, maybe he just caught me at a wrong time. Maybe time. he was pissed off at the moment about some shit or, or maybe just he just something. caught me at the right time where I, where I just felt like, okay, well, fuck it. Right. I'm a homeless bitch, we're gonna see. We're gonna see, right, that part. And I pulled, pulled up. Here. You did by myself. Yeah, I know. I didn't even take nobody really. Just the cameraman. Just the cameraman, right, right. And right, he right. wasn't even he ain't I mean, I'm not saying he's like no buster, but he not yeah, on that time like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't have to worry about nothing. Right. Because if I wanted to, I could have took people up here. Like that? Yeah. Damn. I had people that was met. The bro, I got so many calls, messages. I mean, it's an interview on Say Cheese TV where Treyway said like, some of the OGs was telling them, like, nah, y'all need to see what's going on with him and maybe go up there or something. But I don't want nobody to do You didn't that. want it like that, yeah. Because I don't want nobody crashing out over me. Right. I'm not going to And you did it the right. And when you went the right way by, by going you by no yourself. Lawyer. I'm right. not taking care of no grown man. And if you got people crashing out for you, you got to do that. Mm. So I'm not doing that. I don't, and then I don't want nobody crashing out over me. Right. I'll do that shit myself. Right. Let me he's ask a, you. He's a, you know, he's a straight clown. Could you do it? Would you do a celebrity boxing match with him? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. But will he do it? No. You he don't think so? Let, he'd rather let C Mac fuck his bitch. Oh, shit. For real. He just couldn't see it happening, bro. 
He scared he's gonna lose, and he bigger than me, bro. He's like six foot three. Yeah, two hundred some pounds. Bro. Now, now look, I, I'm gonna keep it G with you, bro. I, I, I cause I, I gotta keep it G. And then just, all the way. What are we doing? Are we boxing right. or wrestling? Right, right. No, I'm finna get. Don't don't hold up, bro. Look, so so so. Okay, so you know, people that know you like in real life, yeah. Know that okay, milk ain't no buster. He ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like milk's grown, with the man. business, but you're older now. You're more laid back. You chill, like you were saying. You be outside, but you don't be outside like that. People think you just be on your balcony, and that's not the fucking but case. Even if I was, but even if you was, you're a grown ass man who, who yeah. like, I'm grown. Nigga, I be in my backyard. I think you a lot really chilling, bro. bro. Like they just mad they can't uh, see. Uh, most of these people only seen a balcony when they mom and them was in a low income building. Sorry to say, they don't have balconies, bro, like that. And they can't stand that I sit on that balcony. And I'm able to just sit there with a camera. Views like that. Nice smoke, view. Look smoke. Stupid, a nice view. And they hate it, bro. Yeah. But I sat on the streets for years. So right. I sit on the balcony. But go ahead. Okay. So, <laughs> so uh, damn, what the fuck was I saying? You uh, were saying, um, um, damn. Um, oh, yeah. Celebrity boxing mass shit. And then. Uh, oh, okay. So people that really know, you know, like, okay, milk ain't no, you know, ain't no bitch, no cousin, really. Okay, boom, whatever. Now there's other people on the internet that might take you as a joke, right? Let's say, right? And and that's I'm pretty sure there's people that think, oh, jinx, he okay. Well, I don't care what people think. Like, you have like when we're on YouTube right here, like at the end of the day, like even just in real life, period, like you kind of have a you gotta have like a mindset where you don't give a fuck what people think and say. Right, you got to be strong minded, strong spirited. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, so I respect that about you, bro. Um, so now, now you know, now, like you just said, that Adam won't wouldn't do a celebrity boxing match with you. Okay, cool. Now, I thought that was dope on your side, bro, to be like to tell 600, I believe, right? You told 600 that you you'll do the boxing match with Crit Mac, right? Yeah, but it's just stipulations. So what what, what would need to happen? For that to actually happen, because there's fans of both of you guys, bro, yeah, of course. that would love to see a celebrity yeah, boxing match with it, you guys. It would just have to be like, it can't be like his entourage, my entourage in there. Okay, it has to just be like us, the people, the record, like on for some professional. Yeah, shit. the people who talking commentators or whatever, and that's it. Maybe one person for him and one person for me. Yeah, him. but it can't be no group of people because I'm not about to have no people from the streets in their high, lower knows off what, yeah. drunk. Ready to trip out, crash out. Right. Even the people that ain't on that type of time, it's just I don't want to pick people. Be in that situation, period. Yeah. Avoid no, the bullshit. I don't right. want to, That's why I never really interview nobody in prison. Because I just don't want to. Fuck, like I'm going to yeah. interview you for yeah. you. You locked up in prison. Yeah, yeah. No nah, for real. I got haters that's going to call the prison and find out where you at. Oh, Get your shit. cell ran in. Probably. Damn. I just, but it's not even me. It's just I wouldn't even want to pitch you in no position. In like no that. situation like no that. shit like that on my name. Right. That part. Even though it ain't my fault because you asked it for the interview. But right. I don't want to do it, but did you see? Um, um, so what made you say, you know what, I'm gonna accept the fight, the boxing fight with Crit Mac? What is it? Is it just something in you within yourself that feels like, oh, I could take him, or is it something you've seen on his part where you feel like, oh, I could, I mean, or just, or you just got that gene in you where you're like, don't give a fuck how big a motherfucker is and this and that, height, size, weight, and all that. Yeah, no, that don't, that don't scare me. Right. Because he don't even <clears throat> look like the type that got, like, coordination or nothing. When now all he do is drink Old English and eat Popeye's chicken. That's not really good. But okay. the reason I didn't want to do that first because I'm like, why am I doing this shit? And it's funding him. And he's supposed to be, he's still his active member or whatever. So it's like, that's like me funding him to go fund them to go kill people in my community or somewhere around. Cause that's all he preached. I feel is, you. Is you know destruction towards Figaro and shit like that. Well, Fig side, but so you know. But at this point, he don't even go over there like that anymore. Like he do sometimes, but I really changed his life. I did. I'm responsible for that because I got him DP. Um, Damn. Yeah, I'm the reason why he was in the alley on the floor saying, "Do we gotta go again?" Shit. Yeah. There, so so okay. So so again, if if you guys can get the the stipulations and the paperwork yeah, and the contract, one hundred percent. What's the most you would need, or the least you would take for it to happen? Like for for you guys, cause you guys both got subscribers like a motherfucker. I don't know. I don't really. I don't. I don't even know. Whatever they come with, it just got to be something that I feel okay with. I don't want no extreme number where it's like, oh, they can't P do it. Give it to me. Let's say ten thousand. Yeah, I take that. Oh, how about five thousand? No. So ten and up. 
Yeah, somewhere around or 15, there, yeah. 20 and up. Maybe? I'll tell you, it depends where it went when they hit me up. Oh, okay. If motherfuckers okay. hit me up at the end of the month when I want to pay my rent. <laughs> no, we might do seventy four hundred. Right, that far, right, that far. I feel Give me you. an option to sell tickets or something. I right. don't know. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Depends when they hit me up. Right, that's right, that's right. Um, I want to. Yeah. Right. Okay. But yeah, but, and then he didn't expose himself more. I will bend to the fight if we ever cross paths in the street. You better hope he is prepared, bro. Damn. Yeah. So it's on on site. He in out person. of shape. He don't have no coordination. He just big. Of course, if he gets you with that lucky punch or a dolphin, you might go out. But other than that, bro, he ain't got longer than 55 seconds in him for a tussle, a fight, none of that. Oh, shit. He don't. Damn. That's just what I believe. I feel you. I feel you. I don't really see him oh. having a... He don't need work out for the camera. Because they say, do this for the camera. Like, they make him go give out food. They just do that shit for the camera. Whoever Damn. he got around, like them old dirty man slims, and when he first got around... 600 of them, they made him do that shit for the camera. So that's all he do it for. Damn. You catch him, bro, he better have Billy Weston. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Well, I, I, you accept the challenge for the celebrity boxing fight, though. I've been there. Oh, okay. okay. I mean, he even had his OG homie DMing me on Instagram. Oh, shit. OG Snapums or something? The dude that owned the Baby Snaps Alley? I think that's his name, right? What? Baby Snaps, you said? Yeah. Or somebody? I, don't, I didn't I even don't. know you could own an alley out here. I don't know, man. Oh, I don't shit. get into well, they call it the I don't get into that shit. I ain't got, you know, I can't talk. Nah, about. he DM me though. <clears throat> okay, what? Do you, oh, about the celebrity celebrity yeah, he, boxer fight? Yeah, basically he gave Crib Mac permission or something. I guess I don't know. Oh he needed shit! Permission. I never said nobody could stop me from doing the fight. My homies can't tell me not to do this. So they fuck with enemies to go do shit with. Oh, okay. To go get money with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are there some um people from the other side that you do fuck with though, like and vice versa? Um, I know people, of course. Like that's cool. Like that you, that yeah, you cool. like that we cool, yeah. Because you know, I, 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 I think I think when it comes to the whole gang thing, I think like. But you feel me a lot of like most of the people I already I, I knew when I was younger. Oh, okay. Some of them I met through jail. Some of them cool. Some yeah. I went to school with, and they from somewhere else now. Right, so, uh, but y'all was still cool. Like yeah. no issue, no beef, or nothing like that. It's not like you shot them or they I shot didn't you or nothing. Passes. It was right. like one time this dude got out of jail. And I knew him from school. We was cool. Never had no issues. I knew where he claimed. Yeah. He was from. And, um, yeah, I got out of jail. It's a police station on 77th and um, Broadway. Uh -huh. I don't know. What made them want to walk down 70-something? I think it, they walked down 77th Damn. to go to Vermont. To take the Vermont bus to their hood or whatever. But it, back then, it was a lot. People used to really hang out. They don't really do this no more. Uh -huh. All in L.A. They fake it like they hang out, but they don't. They somewhere hid under cameras in a park or in Palmdale somewhere. For real, or Vegas. Damn. But a lot of people here in L.A., they do move to Vegas, though. We used to hang out, but we was outside. Like, it, bro, it was so many people. Half of them on Pata. Half of his people is just out here. On some other shit, huh? And um, this dude walked by, and he was with two other people. And as soon as he got right there, I instantly, like, remembered him. So they're, like, trying to bang on him and bang on him. I'm like, nah, nah, he cool, he cool. I went to school with him. He don't bang. He don't bang. That dude banged, though. Oh, shit. Yeah. But y'all was cool. Well, yeah, I do that, too, because it's all about energy. Like, I always that, yeah. I always believed in karma. Damn. Yeah, so I would never was like, if I catch your ass out of bounce on some shit like that, or if I just feel like giving you a pass, I'm going to give it to you, because I want you to do the same thing. Or yeah. hopefully the Especially if y'all ain't even... Or even if it ain't his group, if it's another hood, but I get that pass and the energy because that happened or something. Right. Or, and not even a pass, maybe... God, stop that car from stopping that time right. I was about to shoot or anything. Have you ever been in a situation where somebody gave you a pass? Um, or a situation nah, where you... not really. I never tried to put myself in them. In a situation, period. Okay. Period. Like okay. I never was out of bounds. And if we was out of bounds, we was okay. all locked and loaded and that ready part. to um that part. Oh. That part. But when I we I never nah, hell nah. We was very the game banging was different back yeah, then. Back it then, was yeah. more treacherous. Yeah, it was. Like now, bro, I will go like I will go get some food. I'll go stop and get gas on Sauce and Crenshaw. I forgot to. No problem. No problem. I'll but back, but but 15, 20 years ago. 10 years, 12 well, 20, years ago, yeah, 15, nah. 15, yeah, no. Uh -huh. Uh-uh. And I still have issues. I ain't gonna lie. Because my girl, if we driving around and we in the one with that's a fishbowl with no tents, I'm like, you gotta be careful. She wanna be on the phone and shit. I'm like, hell no, nah, I'm not gonna be the next motherfucking casualty because right. we slipping because of you. So, yeah. But she be alert, but it's still dangerous like that. Yeah. You still gotta, 
But it ain't like how it was. No, nah, it's not. It's not, not like how it is. It is. Well, I think Let it, me it tell you what on. I don't like. Go ahead. My community is turning into Alvarado Park. I mean, MacArthur Park. Break that down. You know, on the corner of MacArthur Park, they got all them fucking people selling shit. Yeah. Basically selling trash. Yeah. Like old ass shit. Yeah. Some of them got <laughs> soap that came from somewhere. Yeah. But shit like that. But the Irish Springs. Yeah, but shit. most of that shit be like little meadow trash and shit, and it's yeah. all on the curves and tents everywhere. Now, that's what they doing in LA now. I just don't like this shit. Yeah. It's, it's making it's shit everywhere on every corner now. So that's different. To me. Yeah. Like, when I go over there, I'll be like, where the fuck am I at, low-key? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I don't so, know if you're familiar with that corner. In my no, corner. I know where it is. I know where it is, for sure. Um, You fuck with that uh, right there on Imperium, Vermont. There's mm. a... Um, mm. uh, uh, What the fuck is it? It's uh, Jim Dandy Chicken. When I was young. You ever been over there? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, okay. Remember, bro. That's, man, that's some of the best fried chicken. That shit, bro. Hell yeah, dog. That's on the... Before my mama died, we lived on 112th in Normandy. Oh, shit. This okay. before they had the police station right Yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. Probation. Right. El Pollo Loco. None yeah. of that was there. Damn. It was bad over there. We lived over there, too. Damn, But before bro. that, we was eating Jim Dandy's, that mama's barbecue. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But that ain't the area I frequent or try to... Right. No, no, no. That's no. a horrible area, too. Yeah, that shit's crazy. I keep myself too. out of um, harm's way as much as possible. That's right. You uh, when are you gonna bring back the the music reviews, man? Um, I don't know. I'm having, I, you know, I just I feel like I'm doing too many on my channel because a lot of my subscribers really don't like that shit. They don't. Nah. They like more just the review, like what? Yeah, they don't like music. The reviews. podcast reviews. Yeah, they shit. don't like that shit. Do a review on this one, nigga. So, <laughs> yeah, so. You gonna you gonna do a, re a review on on this episode? Yeah. All right, for sure. So that's right. Good looking. I was thinking about just starting another channel. And How about you start your own podcast? On the whole, yeah. But my biggest thing is the location. I've been trying to figure that okay. out. Okay. Like okay. I can't do it here because you can't um you can't get your mind right. That part. So that's out. Yeah, that part. I can't do it. Right, right, uh, right. I waste my time. Right. I, I need to be able to smoke. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, been yeah. that ain't been the issue. The issue has just been location. Like I was looking at some shit downtown L.A. Okay. Different shit. Yeah. Different places. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. I don't know, bro. I'd be just... Oh, I'm figuring it out. Yeah. Would you ever go back on on uh, back on back Fig? Yeah. I, I, I was talking to Trail, bro. Okay. Um, Try to work something out? Yeah, I mean, we ain't really got... It ain't really nothing going on. Yeah. He said some shit. He really fell into this at a, it like casualty of war. Okay. Over that no jumper shit. Yeah. I tried to... Stay away from him as long as I could. Detour from him in any reaction. Because I'm not with that homie on homie. like Or both sides of the internet. fence type shit or some shit nah, or just, something. Yeah, nah, and like just arguing with my homies on the internet. Mm. I don't know them. Like, if we from the same community, I'm not trying to do that. Right. Like what the 60s doing right now with like Love, Joy, and I mean 600 and Brick Baby and Cowboy. How they was doing that shit for like three and four weeks. Oh shit! You can't do that, bro. That had yeah. real people upset. Yeah, yeah. They, they. You'll start getting people that did thirty and forty years that somewhere in the valley put up. They will start making phone calls. Oh shit! <laughs> no, for real, huh? Seriously? Yeah, that's that shit. Yeah, see, I. Yeah, that shit crazy. But I don't really game bang on the internet though. I'm not. No, you don't even. You don't. I just that. say my community. I just told people what community I'm from. Right yeah. now, now I I noticed when you do your intros. You don't say the seven four part no more now. Uh, but, and, I and, but no, wait, wait, hold on. Let me let me let me, let me cook, nigga. So yeah. so supposedly, and 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 keep it G. I don't know if it's true or not. I mean, but some people on the internet said the reason why you don't say the seven four anymore in your entrance is because somebody, like a, some people, told you, "Hey, fool, you can't be doing that no more." Woo, woo, woo. Is that true or yeah. why? That, first of all, why would anybody? Why would anybody even tell me that when I'm from the right? When I'm really from over there, right? I'm not like Chris Brown, Soldier Boy. You can't just, but not even that. Like, why would anybody tell me that? And I'm putting on for that shit regardless. I'm bringing attention over there, like right. as far as the internet is concerned. Right. Yeah. Name somebody over there that's really from my section that didn't made it, Damn. or then got a little successful, or you know, like yeah. Man, the only thing Figaro had was Schoolboy Q. That really, besides Freeway Rick Ross and people like that, but yeah, Schoolboy Q the only one that really blew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From what I could think, off the top of the head, yeah, yeah, that really became successful. Yeah, uh, with Kendrick and all them, uh, yeah. yeah. But nah, 
Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. Nobody never told me shit. Right. Nothing. Damn. Nothing. But did you feel like okay? Well, I me... stopped that shit because first of all, it's you don't like, want to be banging on on. It's because this. I don't want people to feel like. Like I don't want to keep saying. You know that's why I started. At first I was like I'm gonna take my seven point four. Y'all go two. seconds. Right. Then I was like I'm gonna take my seven point four. Y'all take as many seconds as y'all want. As y'all want. Right. You take you don't gotta take seven point four because I don't want you to. Then I'm like, bro, I don't want to keep saying this shit, period, because I don't want people to just feel like they got to smoke in order to watch this shit. Right. right. Like, this is just like a strictly smoking channel. And right. then it's too much doing that shit every video. Yeah. And yeah. then you mature. Like, you grow up. I don't I don't got to. People know where the fuck I'm from. Right. Yeah. That's right. I respect that, dude. That's what's up, dog. Yeah, I, I respect that. Because, yeah, bro, like, it's, it's true. Because you don't want to be... Banging, like you said, on YouTube or banging on internet like that, and and you don't. I don't diss hoods. You don't. You don't. I've never heard. I've never heard you. Uh, from what I can recall, I've never seen I or heard you. I do with all them dudes. And, yeah. You know, brick baby them and diss me, diss my hood. I don't diss them. Like, them oh, dudes. yeah. Damn, that shit's crazy. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know. Nah, but uh, really, nobody never told me nothing like that. Right. Like I don't do nothing on the internet for nobody to tell me nothing anyway. Right. That part. No. That like, part. I'm out here doing no Gilligan shit. Right. They can't tell me or I can't speak about nothing that's on the internet. Or and then my homies gonna be like, well shit, why y'all getting mad at him when everybody else doing it? TMZ do it. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all, all, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. But, yeah. but of course, you know, you got you of course, like if you from somewhere, it's gonna be people that just hate, jealous, mad. Hate. Well, because it's the other side. No, right? I'm talking about Sometimes. people from your side too. Oh, within the same hood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, from LA, bro. Yeah. Everybody that becomes successful in LA that come from the streets get hated on. Somebody say something. I mean, it happened to everybody. You know what? They we... killed Mossberg, the blood rapper. Right. That was uh, with Quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, um. I'm hey, that album by the by the way is hard as I fuck. Mean, they, you ever heard that Mossberg? Yeah, with get was, naked on there and all that. One at RJ. Yeah. Uh, man, anybody you think of from LA, bro, that then became successful, they tried to say something about. You know what's crazy is that it seems like when it comes to like people hate the the whole the whole well yeah the hate shit but what well, fuck can't tell me I ain't where I ain't from I'm from L A bro like and I got shit to buy people to vouch it pictures oh, co-sign like, that what, shit what, and everything. Could, what could you say right let me add you know what would be beautiful though milk if like um yeah people want me to go show the community record all this shit I'm not into that you're not doing all most that. of my older older homies don't even do interviews now I got one older homie shout out to uh, Big Bub. Who started under the group podcast? Uh huh. Feel me? I'm glad he did that. Um, but he's doing that just to document like the original like Hoover history, and right? Interview some of the older dudes, right? That's cool. But most of the most of the people don't do interviews. Damn. Yeah, they don't. Damn. Not them. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You have people looking at you stupid. Damn. Like what the fuck is you asking? You don't and you don't do too much interviews either, like that, huh? No, like on really. people's po uh, platforms, like that, really, no. huh? I Only know you, when I want to. I know you fuck with say cheese TV, Scott. Yeah, I'm, I mean, uh, no, Sean. Sean I mean, yeah, Sean. Yeah, yeah, I know you fuck with him. Uh, yeah, I fuck with him. We we cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just okay. did one the other day recently. Would you go on um, Lush uh, Pop? My homie Lush. You know Lush one. The the um, fuck what the fuck? Yeah, is? Tweaker cut. You don't fuck with him? Yeah. I, oh. I oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, Lush World. Nah, Tweaker yeah, World. Okay. Yeah. Would you go on there? Yeah. Man, you should go on. Man. I had Lush on my shit. I think. Oh y'all did, did do! Oh yeah, y'all did I do a fucking do it yeah. It was Zoom, the Zoom shit. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Damn. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They got dope ass setup. Shout out to uh to Lush and 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 Ralph uh, Sinatra, bro. Yeah, but my and shit Big is Rick. all me. My channel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't have nobody that. I don't have nothing. It's just all me. All you. Yeah. Hey, man, you you. Every, it seems like every video, bro, that you do, hits a lot of thousands of fucking. Video, I mean, like man. views, bro. Like that, that's good income, bro. I would think, bro. Cause, like, <laughs> I'll look, well, look, yeah, cause we're not gonna talk numbers, but I look, like, cause when I get my YouTube checks, which we'll both be getting paid on Tuesday, by the way, on the 21st, yeah, you I'm know what I'm saying? saying, nigga? Yeah, that part. So, so on two, on the 21st, we get paid. Um, but, but like, my shit, my shit, like, I'll be like, damn, what the fuck, like, damn, this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, there's people that still watch the older. Interviews and those motherfuckers will hit like 80, 90,000 a month. And I'll put a new video out that same week. It might only get like 
2,000 views, six, 700 views, you know, kind of low, but everything else prior is hitting like a motherfucker. Nigga, I'll look at my chat. Uh, well, you know, because you know you check on the YouTube studio app, yeah. and I'll look, I'm like, this what I'm finna get in a few days? I'm like, Google Ads, <laughs> yeah, AdSense, right. That's what I'm saying. When when I when, when it website. no, my shit goes through uh, direct deposit. Mine too. Um, yeah, but, and it says Google AdSense. Yeah. And then sometimes, like when the shit hit, like, like okay, so I'll get the email first, and they'll be like, oh, yeah. uh, we sent we sent Jinx, uh, yeah. uh, 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 right, a yeah. payment. Probably like seven in the morning. Yeah, that, that, six seven in the six, morning. Seven. That part, right? It's some time it come late. Right, it come about ten thirty. Motherfucker hit. Yeah, yeah. Some yep. time it came in two. Yeah, yeah, that part. But like, the motherfucker will hit that day though yeah. within a few hours. I'm like, okay, so like, so I know what I be getting. Yeah. So, but but. You know, some of my shit don't hit like how your shit be hitting. So, and I'm and I'm keeping a G. I can admit it. Yeah. So, I don't, fuck it. It is what it is. But so I know for a fact, your motherfucking ass, you get some bread, dog, because your shit be because you put fuck. Okay, so within <laughs> seven days, you put out how many video? At least like right, three right or now, four, I right? Been, I, right now, I've been low key slacking, but that's I, so starting tomorrow. I'm on my shit, but okay. I try to at least, bro. I'm, I'm gonna lie, maybe five videos a day. A day, then I'm editing, then I'm Damn. uploading, then I'm going right back. Damn. I don't, it's nonstop, but the grind is good. The first check I seen you. was $140. Ever since then, I was like, oh my fucking God. The first check? I got paid $140. That was the first check? The first ever check. And, and it was I like, got monetized in like 60 days. It I think fast. it happened for me too, 60 days. Real After, fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I had, okay, so my first interview was Snoopy Badass. And then the second interview was Crip Mac. And after that, I got fucking monetized after two interviews, right? The first check, I believe, was like four hundred and something dollars. I see mine because and mine I was, was like, ooh. A lot of my shit was limited in the beginning, and oh, then I didn't the know that. Oh, the ad, know uh, that so your shit was with was the yellow, yeah. not and, the green no, uh, dollar sign. And the I yellow didn't know one. that you had. An see, we putting y'all on game right now because see, they don't know about that. Yeah, you like, can't tell them everything. We right, that part, that part, that part of uh, little class. Come on, yeah. But uh, I didn't know that you can. You know, just tell me when to stop, Mel. Oh, uh, you go right there. Okay. I didn't know that you can um appeal that shit. Right. Feel me? I started going through trials oh, yeah. and tribulations at first. You just I'm click like, the little box. You, you know like, what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? But you know you $200, just click the little box to $200 appeal. $200 last check. Yeah. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Fuck this shit. And mm -hmm. I'm like, wait. I didn't start for the money, really. Right. I work every day. I'm getting like, I wasn't getting a lot, but at that job, I was getting like $17, $60 an hour. Okay. Oh, at that's the cool. Ending, not at the ending, but once I was in there about five months, it got promoted to the uh, dishwasher supervisor, uh -huh. basically, okay. at a hotel. So I put oh, away the produce, shit. make sure the dishwasher is doing that shit. Yeah. Hop in if they gone or if they call off or whatever. It was a lot of work, but it was easy. Yeah. Um, I was getting good money, but cool money. But uh, yeah, about like a year into YouTube, I said, I can quit. Like that. I'm comfortable, low key. Like, I feel like I'm getting what I'm getting there. <laughs> So I could quit and that's go hard. That's a blessing. See, that's what you did. But I'm telling people, when you get to that point with them checks, you feel like maybe you can, like, stop going to work if you do work. Because a lot of people, fuck, that's probably why they do. You talking about earlier, American Cholo ain't going to go nowhere like that. He'll go somewhere, but because they try to juggle two things. They trying to work full-time jobs and do YouTube. It don't work like that. So Stack yeah, up a few of them checks and then say, fuck it. Try, if, you don't, if you don't feel like quitting, try to get, like, a... A leave of absence or something, bro. But you got a full time it, bro. I full timed it. And then what happened too was that that pandemic came right on time. Oh yeah. Because my job yeah. closed down. Yeah. It they didn't they closed down that little hotel because it wasn't like a big one like that yet. Right. It was new. Right. I had opened it. Um, we was the first workers at Hotel Figueroa. Okay. This was like 2018. Okay. So when that shit happened, I got unemployment legitimately. Right. I was getting like 2,200 every two weeks. Oh, that's cool, sit down bro. And just eat Chick Fil A, right? Cookies all day. Yeah, hell yeah. And do Ten videos. But yeah, in the beginning, that's how I got the No Jumper interview. I was kicking up dust. Damn, yeah, major dust. Damn, dog. Yeah, but like a year in, I said I could quit because I start going to work. I'm like in there, and I'm like, man, I don't want to be here. Man, fuck, all I'm keep looking at my YouTube studio. Right. I'm like, I could be editing these videos. I could be doing this. I could be doing this. Right. Now I'm taking 15, 20 smoke breaks. I just wish, it like, I think it would be dope if it was every two weeks or every week nah, instead of once a month. Enough. Nah, you don't make enough. Let me tell you something about weekly. I got paid. No, weekly. I'm talking about with, with nah, this. It's not because I got paid weekly at, at Tao. Okay. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Tao. It's like that Asian restaurant in Hollywood. 
West Hollywood. Tao. 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 Yeah. It's a T-A- nice restaurant. T-A-O? T-A-O? Yeah. I've been yeah, there T-A-O. for years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice little place to eat. But I was working there. They pay you weekly. But oh. they don't pay you a lot. If you getting paid like $20 an hour and you getting paid weekly, maybe. But we getting paid like $12. You got to work every fucking day. Yeah. If you yeah. miss one day, your check going to be like $200. Yeah. Yeah, they cheat you because if you if you take the same pay rate and you get paid every two weeks, your check gonna be more. Oh, off top for sure, for yeah. sure. So 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 we on salary. That's what you gotta think about it. as. like we on salary. I I struggled with that shit in the beginning. Like fuck, it's a long time. But, but you make so you make enough. Like I said, we, we don't gotta talk numbers exactly, but you make enough where you could pay the, the your 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 rent. Or a part of the rent, all your bit, like you good. Pay all that shit. No problem. All of it. I'm like Nick. And King. still got enough to do this, that, buy, we go eat, good. Woo. Bro, I got a 17 year old daughter, stepdaughter, but it's my daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's, 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 that's money. And she's about to go to college. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's money, dude. But other than that, yeah, bro, I take, man, I, I stopped buying clothes. What the fuck? I used to care about buying clothes. Now I'm, now I'm like, man, fuck clothes. <laughs> I might go to Zara. And get a little outfit. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna yeah, give yeah. you game. What I do, I don't give a fuck. Right. Real spit trench, that, I'm spit, from the trenches. Spit that shit, man. Okay, one outfit at Zara. Okay. One outfit. I probably spend maybe like, maybe I buy two, but I probably spend like a hundred dollars. Okay. For both outfits. No. Oh, for yes. one out. Okay, so one twenty an outfit. So yeah. two forty right there. Like a short set, probably fifty for the top, forty for the bottom. Right, 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 right. Go get that. Wear it. Take your picture and go take it right back. <laughs> And then you don't even gotta get you could you don't even gotta get the money, bro. You can just get the credit or keep right. And then the get another outfit every time. And then do that exchange. You every could, you could wear that to go out on the dinner. Like if you and your girl got like yeah, an anniversary don't match dinner, your shit up. right? Match take out. it right back. Get another outfit for the and next. Match day. It. Well, well, I do that. I'm giving you game. Damn. Uh, I'm tight now. Like I've noticed as I got older, getting older, kind of getting. I'm not cheap because I don't like cheap shit. Right. I don't that like po- off brand stuff. Nah, I like name I like brand that shit. shit. Yeah, I like um, name brand shit. I like shit staying too. in good hotels. Yeah, man. Yeah, like if I go if I go to Hawaii, I wanna go to Maui. I don't wanna go to no other shit. Right. Uh damn. Nigga getting Hollywood now? <laughs> See, I'm fucking not Hollywood, you. but shit. I'm fuck- I, I'm, but you but you got when game them said I if if I could leave the hood, wait what he said. If I could escape from the hood and never come back. He said if I get rich, he said if I I thought what he said on the hate it or love it, but he was like, if I could leave the hood, I'd never come back to this bitch. Man. It's the truth. It's the truth. I mean, Nipsey went back and look what happened to him. Smack. Damn. Ooh, dead. Over. Oh Damn. shit, gone. <sighs> Nothing. Damn. And I think, you know, like, that's why I don't care when people say, you don't go to your hood. Fuck, I'm going to my hood on camera for. I don't got to. Yeah. I'm not a gang member. Right. I'm not even, a, I don't even think I'm a gang member. Damn, because yeah. there is a difference. Yeah, but of being a game banger be, and a game I, member, I don't even qualify for both of them. Man. Damn. Yeah, because I'm. I'm, I'm well, not, you had to know the level in your life, though, you're right? Grown. You're grown. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Anybody that's 30 years old, that's what my biggest problem with Crib Mac was. That's why I was changing his life. Been pressure on him, making him stop this and videos and do all that. I put pressure on his ass. But if, what were you gonna say if, if somebody's if 30 you're at years his old, age, is no way you acting like that. And if you acting like that, you still on drugs or you not on camera and you still fully, really activated gangbanging. Like really. Damn. Yeah, that's an act. He didn't grow up like that. He came from Ontario. When I grew up, it ain't like that no more. But when I grew up, we looked at the valley like fucking weenies. Damn. Like squares. Damn. Yeah, we talk bad about them. That's how the old people talk. But you got some, you got some. I understand that, but I'm trying to tell you. Right. How I was raised, the people that was around. The valley and all that, it was they used to look at that shit like soft. I mean, times changed. The fucking San Bernardino doing more than LA. But I'm just saying how it was when I was growing up. They looked at them like it was like, different back then. They looked uh, at them like, like straight squares. But it probably was different. Because yeah. more LA people moved out there when yeah. the rent got high. See, me being an LA dude, like I remember for the sixth grade, I moved from LA and went to Palmdale. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I, it, it was a school called Tumbleweed. Uh, tumbleweed. Uh, My homies middle school. Pete Knight or something out there. Out in Palmdale. Yeah. Yeah. And and when I was there, you know, but you gotta understand, this time I'm only twelve. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm like, damn, like, I was like at that time I was like, man, this shit weak as fuck. And this is in like '96, '97. I'm like, bro, this shit weak. I don't like it here. I gotta go. I gotta come back to LA. But things has changed. You know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, when it comes to game banging or people that's not even game bangers, 
There's tough, hard motherfuckers everywhere. No, you, I don't give a fuck if no, you was right. bra- brought up and raised in the suburbs, if it's the IE, but see, these the gangs, Valley, they, they, LA, the bro, bro, whatever. Gang bangers, for some <clears throat> reason, was taught that they the hardest. Nobody hard. Well, every gang, them. I would think, right? No, but, but I'm saying, or, like, or that's, you might just that's not like, realistically. That's not, that's not real. No, other people probably know that they could get crashed out. Gang bangers in LA think they're invincible, they're the toughest. Damn. Like a lot of that shit is just crazy to me. Like, like a lot of the rules should be changed because them rules was written by kids, really, young guys, kids. Not by OGs. No, they was young OGs. They was kids when they wrote them rules. Yeah, Tookie and Raymond. Because and- there's OGs right Bro, now. Bro, when they started Crip, Crip was started by kids. But there's OGs in prison right now. But prison ain't that- got nothing to do with. No, no, no. But no, no, no. But what I'm saying is, there's OGs that 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 was real game bangers that's in prison now. That's looking at the niggas now on the streets like, bro, what the well, fuck that's did because y'all they, do? That's because they in prison. They don't got no choice, though. In prison, you have to run black. Like, it's no other choice. Like, it's just, you're black. Like, it's no, no other choice. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, listen, like, crib, blood game, whatever, right? I'm talking about an OG that banged the hood, that put in work this son, went to prison, ain't getting out. Uh-huh. He's probably, like, how certain gangs are now, right? They're probably looking down like, yo... What the fuck is you niggas doing with the hood? Especially like the OGs don't be respecting the shit that's going on in the hoods they that no they're choice. from anymore. Like, but they can't. I, I don't know how much pool or power they got being in prison, but there are motherfuckers in prison that got a lot of power, bro. It don't matter. That can that, that can still touch people here in these yeah, but streets. It don't matter, but that's only gonna go so far, bro. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> you in prison, bro. Yeah. You know, once we get rid of them little pawns, you got. That shit over. That's it. What fucking everything up is people from prison trying to run the streets. You don't know shit. You've been in prison. Right. You got caught. You're you're like you've been in six times in prison. You're a dumb criminal. Damn. Why would you be trying to run the streets? And then prison is on a whole nother page. It's yeah. not even the fucking same thing. Right. And then people go to prison and join prison gangs. And not even from their hood no more. No, because you from yeah, see that. Prison gang. So what happens? So how can the, I trust you? So what happens now if that person went to prison, joined a different gang, and then get out? Well, he's it, not. He's not from that. Hood. Like, how does it depends who it depends who he is and who over there. Oh, okay. some people might say something. Some people might not. Some people might try to get rid of him on the low. Some people might not care. Right. But to a person like me, that's a disease. Break that down. Talk on that. What you it's mean? A disease, bro. Because once they be under that paperwork shit, they got to do anything they say. If they got to kill you, kill their brother, kill whoever, just for any reason, they gonna do it. Let me ask you this. When you, the times you went to prison and jail and all that shit, you Ooh. ran black. Never been to prison, bro. I'm not oh, a no? criminal. Oh, okay. No. Jail. Yeah, jail. You ran County black. Jail. You Hard. ran, ran black, black, of course, right? Of course. Um, the, the, the whites in, like the woods and shit in there, would they, would they be like, man, come join us? Or like, you speak on that, like what, a situation where you, you know, had an encounter with, a, with another Caucasian guy in, a, in, in jail. Uh, I was in the county. Okay. LA County. Okay. 2000 flow. 21, 2300. Um, I had just got there. Um, and I was on on the top. It's a one man cell. At the bottom is four man cells. Okay. And um I just got there. I seen one of my homies. He wasn't on my row. He was on like the next row, but my homies was porters and shit. Yeah. People that clean up shit, pass out the uh food. Uh-huh. So they able to walk around pretty much ROP. Okay. Run their own program. Right. Um so shit, I was in there, bro, and at that time I ain't seen no sunlight in about seventy days. Or yeah. So they called roof when I first got there. I just came back from medical or some shit. I was getting um, muscle relaxers to go to sleep. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we was putting motherfuckers in soda. Right. That far. Make sprite. Right. Uh, lean. It's lean. Right. Yeah, but um, so ever, I was just going to get them. Right. You ever had Pruno? Yeah. Okay. We you- we was making Pruno in camp. Yeah. We're trying to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we I was buying this shit. This this older dude in the county, East Coast, uh-huh. old dude, probably like in his late fifties. Yeah. He was selling that shit. Oh, okay. Bottles of that shit. Yeah. yeah. Make a killing like with five, that. seven dollars or something. Yeah, but back then you making a killing with he that. He was making a killing there. Yeah, hell yeah. He's getting all the soups and shit. But um I got in there, got back from medical, uh-huh. and uh they called for a uh, roof. I like to go out on the roof. I'm like, I'm going, bro. I ain't been out there. And uh this is like my second time in the county. All right. But right before this, I, I fucked up because that's shit. But uh, <laughs> right before this, though, when I came back from medical, it was this white dude who kind of looked like Adam. Okay. Way more tattoos. like, And if he was like already like an Aryan Brotherhood or something, like okay. a Nazi. 
So he was on the other side of the bar, like in the county jail. Like you separated by bars. Right. Then you could let out the bar and then you could go. But it's either, it's bars separating each side. He's like, hey, you know, brother, I got this. I'm like, first one, who the fuck are you talking to? Yeah. I'm trying to look to see if somebody around. And then he said it again, like, you know, I got this. I'm like, man, what the fuck you say? And he was like, this is me. I was like, this ain't you because I'm from West Side Hoover, bro. Damn. Yeah. He got mad. Oh, he didn't like that. No. He was upset. And then what happened? He just... I went the roof. Like, right after that, I went in my cell. Right. Because he on the other side of the, the bar. Right. He ain't do nothing. Right. I went in my cell. They closed the little, you know, <laughs> closed right. the cell. And they called for roof. Went the roof. When I went the roof, you could see, like, it's about six or seven of the whites. They had the phone. Right. It looked obvious. Like, they're doing something. Like, who's stupid? Right. <laughs> right. And in there, I'm not even with none of my homies. Um, I'm with dudes from like Grave, uh, Linden Block. Uh, I'm saying the hoods that that they moved, like people that did shit. Uh, right. It was some dudes that was like affiliated to my area, but like down further, like in the Salos and shit. But yeah, they ain't do nothing. Dude from supposed to be from Seven Four didn't do nothing either. Damn. Yeah. But yeah. But he went on the roof, but he still supposed to because I. But so when when I was on the roof and shit. Uh, the homies that I was with, they was playing basketball. Yeah. I was going to get some water and shit. I was talking and shit. Went back to get some water. Second time I went to got water, like, I started getting them thoughts in my head. Like, watch, watch out. <laughs> so, I go get the water, come back. Yeah. Now it's like time where they about to kind of like, they giving you probably like 30 more minutes yeah. before they close the yard down and they let you know. Okay. So, I'm going, I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to go get some more water. And on my way, I look over there again, they on the phone. So in my head, I'm like, okay, they're getting the order. Um, yeah. You're already dude, on it. Yeah, he calling them. Yeah. Like, I'm in school, like, for, about what's going to go on. So dude on the phone. So when I go over to get the water, as I'm coming back, when I turn around from the water, it's like they simultaneously, like, just one, two, three, four, five, six. It's like they trying to shield me mm. and attack. So I'm like, fuck it, bro. When they get, like, in the, like, um, arm's distance, I just got to take off and whatever. Gonna, That's it. going to happen, going to happen. Took off and for like probably maybe 10, 15 seconds, if that, I was getting jumped low key. Oh um, shit. Like six of them maybe. But oh, big so dudes like shit. Like big shit. Oh, they were little dudes. Oh, oh, okay. They, these dudes was like. So shit probably was, didn't even hurt nothing. It was nah, some it's... tall ones, but they weren't really like, you know, like Wes Watson. Right, right, right. Nah, it wasn't nothing like that. Oh, okay. little baby shit. They, I came out with like a scar right here, like some little punk scar because of, the, I think, more of the, the, um, when there's a Tesla, the like the wall, I think the wall did it because they didn't. But uh, <laughs> it's always a scuffle. This is my first little like real type of riot. Right, right. And uh, we fighting. Then that's when all the dudes that was down there, the blacks, came and rushed them. Oh shit! Like about three of them laid down though. They Damn. Didn't do but yeah, we rushed them, and uh, police was trying to come to the door. They was like, "Get down!" And I almost got down, and the dude was from Grape. He was like, "No, nah, don't get down. You don't don't get down. Keep going." Right. And we just kept going. Picked up trash cans, hit them with them, all that shit. Damn. And then they took us out in the uh, hallway, pepper sprayed first, and then tried to take us in the hallway. Right. They're like, what happened? I mean, that happened. There you and go. then they like, um, well, what's this? I'm like, man, that shit ain't nothing. They're like, well, you don't need um, medical or nothing? I'm like, nah, hell no. Nah. Right. I don't want nothing. Not one thing. Everybody said that. So they took us to the hole or whatever. As I'm in the hole, I'm probably in there for like four hours. Literally, like Dang four or man. five hours, all all my homies start coming in there one by one, cause they all didn't rush the woods. Wow. Yeah. Damn, dude. They rushed them like you know, like church service or some like gang members use that to just come out and congregate. Right. Right. So yeah, they caught them in there and it was the porters and they had cr milk cratons tied with shit and you know commenced to beat Damn, them. Damn, dude. Yeah. Damn. They tried to refile. They tried to file charges on two of my homies for that. Oh, what? Yeah, that's some pussy ass shit. Bro. And they started it. Yeah, See, that's 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 that, that's some. What was crazy? Shit. I almost slid out of it because <laughs> because they was like the whites go over here. So I looked at the homies like, oh, I'm about to slide over here. Fuck it, try to get out of this shit because we had just um been in this shit. Yeah, but it didn't work. Damn. Cause they got cameras. They knew what happened. Oh yeah. They asked me what they happened, what... and I'm looking at them like y'all got cameras. like y'all said, yeah, right. Y'all said it. Find the footage, right? Right. Hey, y'all was over there watching the. Camera. You think shit like that happens in prison, yeah. or like, where like the 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 the, the, the 
How the CEOs, yeah. Yeah, like they'll set certain shit on purpose, low key. Yeah, bro. And then yes. it, it happens, right? They do that. Yeah. yeah. I, I would think so. Yeah, they pay, they they give people snacks, they befriend them, and then right. they fight. Right, set up in certain situations yeah, yeah. and shit. Hey, man, I'm happy uh, you finally pulled up, bro. I, like I said, this is way past due, homie. You pulled up, dog. Um, great conversation with you. Going to have to have you back, too. Yeah, for, for sure. part two, sure. for sure, man. Um, let everybody know, man, where they can find you at right here at the camera, man. Where they can it's find you It's only one place. And that's It's Milk TV on YouTube. That's, that's all right. I really care about. What about the IG? I mean, it's, it's Gilligan's Slayer Milk. I don't really sweat that too much. Okay, more than I'm YouTube. On my, I'm yeah, because IG ain't paying like that. No, nah, right. it's on my 10th one. <laughs> right. I just use that more of like a... Like a uh, Kind of like a marketing tool yeah. to reach people, kind of. Maybe if I want to do some promo, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, why yeah, I focus yeah. on building an yeah. Instagram. But they'd take that shit for anything. Damn. Anything. I scan, I commented something the other day, and they said, this is spam. Bro, I didn't even comment. I just They're weird. That, that. Comment like, what's up or something. I think I said something, and, and it said yeah. spam. They take your shit for any reason. Yeah, that, that, yeah, I don't know. So I don't care about that. And now I don't really make, I make, you know, I get promo, but I, I, YouTube is all I care about. That part. Shout out to YouTube. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, look, man, this has been another great episode of Drinks with Jinx, the podcast where we chill, conversate, and drink. Make sure y'all all subscribe, like, and share. Turned up.